What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm going over the UEFI BIOS here on the Gigabyte Z97X UD3HBK. Now this um, BIOS should be pretty much the same through all of the Gigabyte Z97 motherboards. Um, it might be a little bit different depending on the type of motherboard, but they all should be pretty much the same. So when you go into the BIOS, the first thing that you should see here is our startup guide. And this is kind of like a quick access menu for a couple of options. So we obviously we can set our system language, turn on fast boot, set up our system time. If you click here, you can go in and set your boot sequence. You can um, set up your SATA controller and what type of mode you would like it in. You can set up security features, user password, administrator password, um, startup options. So you can set when your um, system boots, you can set which uh, part of the BIOS, I guess you would say, would, would, that you would kind of want to load. So right now, I have it set to, to Smart Tweak HD, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but you can go ahead and you know, choose which one. So when you turn the computer and it goes into the BIOS, you can actually select which part of the BIOS you're going into. And then, we, of course, we can load our defaults and exit. Now, to switch between the different types or different parts of the BIOS, um, all you have to do is hit F2. And now we are in classic mode, which if you've used a Gigabyte motherboard in the past, this is kind of what it looks like. This is the classic mode. And then we'll hit F2 again, and we'll go into the newer. This is called the Tweak HD mode. So this is HD resolution. Um, it should have pretty much all of your settings, but as you'll see, there are some settings in here that are missing for some reason, um, which I'll go into. But again, this looks really great, um, especially for BIOS being in HD and all of that. Now, if you don't want it in HD, I believe you hit F7. Uh, nope, not F7, F6. You hit F6, and it will put it in a, in a lower resolution. Um, if you have a lower resolution monitor, you can hit F6 again, and we'll go back into the you know 1080p mode and you can see how great it looks so over here we have our cpu status what are cpus running at um, all of your information as far, far as voltages temperature um, cpu fan speed all of that memory status same thing so we're going to see how fast it's running and the voltage that it's at and our timings up top here we have our um, DRAM voltage in real time as well as our CPU core voltage in real time fan speeds in real time will be displayed up here as well as temperature in real time and then over on this side we have our system status which is going to show us our clock speeds and our voltages all of that again all in real time now our first little uh, tab here is our frequency so this is everything to do with the CPU so you can change you know your base clock you can change everything like that um, gigabyte has auto overclocking features based on your processor. So if we had CPU upgrade, um, we're running a 40, uh, 4790K, and here's our CPU upgrade for that. Um, it allows just easy upgrading, or you know, easy overclocking with one click. You don't have to go in and change everything. It will do it all for you. And then our advanced CPU core settings, you know, everything to do with the CPU, you can set here. Our memory. Um, everything to do with the memory as far as timings and all of that and then you have all your sub timings you can set as well voltages you can set all your different things for all of your voltages right here um, and it's it's separated so you have CPU core chipset voltage and memory voltage you can you know they're all right here miscellaneous um, you can, there's a couple options right here and then our P PC health status right here now one thing that I don't know why it's in here but like say things like your peripherals and your USB settings and your LAN settings for some odd reason are not in this in here. Um, I thought they would be in the miscellaneous section, but they're not. And if we go home here, um, this will be your home screen and you can set up your performance um, and everything like that. Uh, you know, this is kind of like your, your main settings here and then standard different settings here that you can set. And then you can actually make your own tabs right here. So these, these say your name one, two, three, and four. And then you can see your most re recent settings that you've changed. And then you can set a favorites menu as well. Um, and you can actually set your boot sequence right here too. You can just drag these in the order that you want. One thing that's also cool that I'd like to mention is you can either, there's a couple ways to change settings. So if I want to change my CPU base clock, see how I have it set at 40. Um, I can move the slider here. As you can see, it will go up and down. I can select from you know, the pre-designed uh, settings here, or I can go 
and um, my keyboard and I can type in 40 and hit enter and there you go. So there's a couple different ways to enter data. Now, as I said, those USB settings for some reason are not in here. I don't know why they're not in here. Um, you know, if I go back to the classic menu, you know, my peripherals right here, everything is there. All of this stuff is not in the other menu for some odd reason. I'm not sure why. Um, you know, if I'm Gigabyte and I'm creating a BIOS and I want people to use the new Tweak HD, I want all the settings you know, in there. Um, but besides that, the BIOS works really great. Um, there's not a whole lot wrong with it. It's very snappy. It works really well. I just wish that Gigabyte would have added all of the settings that are in the classic UFI BIOS to this Tweak HD one. Um, again, not sure why, but it's not in there. But if you have any questions about this BIOS, you know, the Gigabyte Tweak HD or the Quick Start menu or anything like that, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.